Hello everyone. Welcome to another video on NeetApp tutorials. In this video, we will understand how to draw a marginal plot. So if we click on graph and here you see the marginal plot. And as I read the definition from NeetApp, marginal plot examines the relationship between Y variable and X variable and examine the distribution of each variable. Many of you would have uh, seen a scatter plot before. We are also planning to upload a video on scatter plot. So scatter plot is a, a graphical representation to show whether you know, X and Y variable are correlated or not correlated. We have a separate video on correlation in our channel. So people who have doubts about what is correlation can listen to that video. So here we have taken two variables, pressure and strength of material. So what is the pressure that we are going to maintain in the process? And what is the impact of pressure on strength of material? So that's what we are going to examine. We are going to examine the correlation. We are also going to examine the distribution of data in both X and Y axis. So let's click on graph, marginal plot. So here I have three options. I can draw this marginal plot using a histogram. I can draw the marginal plot using a box plot. And I can also draw a marginal plot with dot plots. So let's first start with the histogram version. So I click on histogram version. I click on histogram button and my y variable will be my strength of material and my x variable will be my pressure. So I've selected these two and then I can click on OK. So if you see here, here is the relationship of data almost is it, it this indicates a positive correlation and it also says how is your x-axis data is distributed and how is your y-axis data is distributed in terms of a histogram so this is how you will see the uh, marginal plot just to get a different version of it we can go for a marginal plot in terms of box plot and not histogram so let me select box plot a marginal plot with a box plot looks like this. This is how your data is distributed. So you see the relationship, whether it is positive correlation. So here it's a positive correlation and how your x-axis data and how is your y-axis data are distributed. And same thing we can also understand using a dot plot. So here I'm going to select dot plot. And if you see a dot plot, the dot plot here will indicate how the data is distributed. Every dot here represents two values. So if you see here, uh, the bin size is uh, from that is 12.75 to 13.25. Yeah. For every two data point, there will be a dot here. So that is how this data is distributed. Now, I generally prefer using a box plot to uh, represent the marginal plot. And I'll tell you why a box plot is a, a much better version of representing this. So let me show you that. So a box plot uh, way of understanding a relationship as well as distribution is like this. So let me keep my mouse pointer here on the box plot. So as I keep my mouse pointer, you understand that Q1 and Q3 are 17 and 28. For the x-axis, it is 17 and 28. And similarly, if I keep my mouse pointer here, for y-axis, it is 8 and 11. So what I'm going to do is, so I'm going to scale the reference value for my x-axis. It is 17 space 28. And for my y axis, it is 8 space 11. Sorry. For my 17 and 28, I made a mistake. So, scale reference value 17 and 28. So as you, so as you see this video, you will understand this is the center 50 performance because in a box plot uh, from P75, uh, which is your Q3, till P25, which is your Q1, this is your center 50 performance of your x-axis. And this is the center 50 performance of your y-axis. So your center 50 data points lies somewhere here. And this is how your x-axis data is distributed. And this is how your y-axis data is distributed. 
So friends, this graph is a very useful graph to understand the relationship between X and Y variables at the same time to understand how the distribution of X variable is and how the distribution of Y variable is. Hope this video was useful for you. Thank you.